Coel Medi's Easy Sinus Lift Kit. Coel Medi's Easy Sinus Lift Kit provides more predictable results, shorter chair time, and a more comfortable procedure for patients. Let me introduce the components of the Easy Sinus Lift Kit. The commonly used tools can be selected at the surgeon's discretion, depending on the bone quality when performing a sinus lift or ridge split. The sinus lift drill tool is used in the area below the maxillary sinus and is easier to perform compared to the sinus window operation. And the spreader drill is used to perform ridge splits safely in stages. It's a multi-purpose tool that functions as a condensing, spreader, etc. The adapter is attached to the torque wrench for easy and convenient use by hand. Let's take a look at the features of the Easy Sinus Lift Kit through the procedure. First, the sinus lift drill and spreader drill are used together for maxillary sinus lift. If the residual bone height is four millimeters or more, use the point drill followed by the Pi 2.2 drill. Determine the fixture placement location using point drill. Drill according to the maxillary sinus floor residual bone height while checking the laser marking. If sinus lift spreader is used, insert the Pi 3.2 spreader at a height of two millimeters from the floor of the maxillary sinus for Pi 4.0 fixture placement. Perforation can be prevented by limiting the approach distance from the floor of the maxillary sinus to two millimeters, or by reducing the rate of penetration into the maxillary sinus. If over torque occurs when using the Pi 3.2 spreader, replace it with the Pi 3.6 tap drill and proceed with bone grafting. Apply the Pi 3.8 spreader in the same way. Spreader is suitable for areas with weak bone quality. Place the bone graft material in the drilled area. Push the graft material into the maxillary sinus. Place the implant according to the manufacturer's manual. The fixture and fixture driver should be fully engaged. Slowly begin placing the fixture at a speed of 25 to 35 RPM. The final recommended torque is 25 to 50 newtons. Connect to the top of the fixture ratchet driver with a torque wrench. When placing Pi 5.0 or thicker fixtures, Pi 4.2, Pi 4.8 spreader should be used additionally. And if over torque occurs when using the Pi 3.2 spreader, replace it with the Pi 4.6 tap drill and proceed with bone grafting. The next step is to use the Easy Sinus Lift Kit for alveolar bone augmentation. Use a round burr or bone chisel to mark the area where the implant needs to be placed. Sequentially perform alveolar bone expansion with the Pi 3.2 spreader. Pi 3.8 spreader is also used in the same way. Place the implant according to the manufacturer's manual. The fixture and fixture driver must be fully engaged. Slowly insert the fixture by hand. Finish the procedure by placing bone graft in the area where bone grafting is required. Easy and safe maxillary sinus lift. Coel Medi's Easy Sinus Lift Kit.